In this video, I will show you how you can connect to Webook with MySQL and automatically insert the data to MySQL database table directly from the Webook response. So before we discuss how we can do that, let us first discuss what are Webooks. So if an application supports Webook, that means we can send the data of that application to another application in real time using Webooks. Okay, so you can understand the Webook as a URL. So assume that we have a webhook url and we also have an application a whose data we would like to insert to different application okay so what we will do we will copy this webhook url and add it into our application a and whenever any event occur in our application a that event data will automatically sent to our webhook url and once Webhook contains that event data, we can now send that data to different application to application B as well. So here you can consider the application A either a form builder software or a payment gateway application and the application B as a MySQL database. Okay, so let's say uh, application A is a form builder software and whenever any new form submission is received in our form builder application, that form submission data Data will be sent automatically to the webhook URL and from this webhook URL we will insert that data into our MySQL database so now we know about the application a which is going to be a form builder software and our application B is already decided that is MySQL. but from where we will receive this webhook URL so basically which software we will use to send the data from webhook to MySQL. so let me show you we are are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing and a very cost effective integration and automation software. And Pabli Connect will provide us the webhook URL, and then we will paste that webhook URL into our form builder application. And whenever the form submission is received on that webhook URL, we will automatically insert that form submission data into our MySQL database table. Here you can notice we have one, two, three tables. I am going going to update the data into this new contacts table here you can notice one contact one data is already available into my mysql database table let me hide this section all right now for the how we can start this process so firstly you will have to create a free account in pabli connect and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation i am an existing user of pabli connect so here you can notice i am already logged in and once you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, so I am providing basically I have directly pasted the name as insert data in MySQL from webhook response. Now simply click on create and after that you will notice two boxes. Okay, so these boxes are, are actually called as trigger and action. Okay, and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation but here according to our use case we want that whenever any new webhook response is received then with the help of that webhook response automatically insert the data in my sql database application so that is why i am going to select both the applications one by one in this trigger and the action window okay so i have selected both the application and how we are going to automate this process as i have told you pabli connect will provide us a webhook url which we will paste into our form building application now you must be thinking that JotForm does not have a direct feature to provide the data to different application or to pabli connect well it is not like that pabli connect already support the JotForm integration if you will directly search for the JotForm, you will actually find the JotForm application here but just to show you how webhooks can be used i am taking an example of webhooks because JotForm actually supports webhooks okay so 
again instead of selecting jot form directly i will select webo in this way you can connect any application inside pabli connect but the condition is that application should support webo so basically with the help of webo url you can connect a different application okay so this is how you will receive the webo url which you will have to paste in that application whose data you would like to capture in public connect and again i am telling you we already have the integration of jot form inside public connect but just to show you how webooks can be used i am taking an example because jot form actually supports webook okay so let's say uh, i would like to send the data of this contact form to my sql okay so i have edited this form this is just a basic form a contact form now i will directly click on settings button and here you will find the option of integration from the left hand side okay directly search for the webhook option because here we are building the integration we are building the connection with the help of webhooks only okay so this is how in your preferred application you will get the you will find the webhook option uh, let me first remove this existing integration because i will show you everything from scratch all right i have selected webhook and in that application as i have told you initially you will have to paste the webhook url which you have received received via public connect okay and simply click on this complete integration thing and this is how the webhook url will be added to your jot form application now i am going to preview this form and will make a dummy submission and you will notice as soon as the form submission is made the details will be captured via public connect here you can notice it is also waiting for the webhook response okay you can also read the instruction that log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission Mission record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. Okay, so basically it is asking to do a test submission. I'm sorry for that. So let me add some random names, something like demo, or how about I add the detail as dummy? Okay, I should have checked whether this data is already present or not. All right, demo at the rate publicTutes.com is already available. So I am going to use another detail, some different detail that is dummy customer. Okay, I'm using this particular detail and again. this is just a dummy data okay admin at the rate publicTutes.com and again it is a dummy email address only let me also add this dot and add in the phone number also a 10 digit phone number how about i add this 95555 all right so i have added a 10 digit number let me also add the city as indore okay let me correct the spelling clicking on submit and as soon as the submission is made you will notice that the form submission data will be received as a response inside pabli connect and here you can notice instantly the response is received now let me show you the details one by one so here we have the form title as contact form here we have other details also like the first name and the last name of the person the email address the same dummy phone number and the city as well okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in pabli connect and a jot form is working absolutely fine fine and we have built this connection with the help of webhook url okay in this way with the help of this url you can connect any application with the public connect and again the condition is that application should supports this webhooks okay so the first step of our automation is already done moving further i am going to send the data to my sql application simply select the action event that is insert row because we would like to perform the same action and just like with the help of webhook url we have built a connection in jot form now i am going to connect my sql with the public connect so basically you will have to provide the access the details of your my sql database so give me a minute let me provide these details here so i have provided all the details clicking on the save button and this is how you will notice that my sql application will be immediately connected with the pabli connect and here you can notice because we are connected whatever the tables are available inside my my sql application have started visible here okay and we were about to update the data in this new contact table okay so i have selected the same here also you can see that i have selected the same table as new contacts now 
now it is asking for several details okay so you can notice that whatever the fields i have added whatever the columns i have into my my sql table that is the first name last name email mobile number city the same column names are visible as fields because i have specifically selected the same table i'm sorry for that okay and from where i'm going to provide this data remember we have just captured the data with the help of webhook response from our jot form application okay so i'm going to send this data to our below application and the interesting thing is i don't need to one by one manually copy this data and paste it here i'm going to directly map this data okay and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down okay directly search for your data okay i remember i have the name as dummy first name as dummy so i have mapped it last name as customer okay so in this way i am going to map the details one by one all right the spelling is not correct okay it was something like dummy customer all right so i have mapped the first name the last name okay now you must be thinking that what is this mapping which i am repeating in front of you okay so whatever the details we are mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or in next time so basically with every new form submission these details will be replaced automatically and this is how this automation is going to take place and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation okay so how about i directly click on this button and waiting for the response to receive here okay fingers crossed and here you can notice the response is received which is giving us the status as success okay going back to my my sql database table and let me first refresh and check whether the data is here or not and here you can notice we have the same name the last name the email address the phone number and the city okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in pably connect and my sql is working absolutely fine so now onwards you can automate the process of data insertion in your my sql database directly from the webhook response okay Okay. and again i am telling you in this way only with the help of webhook url you can connect any application with the pably connect and automate the time consuming and lengthy process okay the condition is that application should support the webhook option okay so now onwards what will happen every time a new form submission is received in jot form those form submission will be added automatically into my sql database table and in order to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pably connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end in real time because the trigger will instantly capture the incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay and just in case if you want to access this two step automation inside your pably connect account i will also attach this link into my description box you just need to click on this link and then sign up into the pably connect and then you will be able to access the same workflows same automation inside your own pably connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video